This is by far one of the coolest opportunities and one of the coolest things I've ever gotten invited to by Walt Disney World. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to our five-day, four-night fit staycation here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're here for a weekend of run Disney activities. It is going to be amazing. We're checking on in to Animal Kingdom Lodge, one of the most beautiful themed animal filled hotels here in Walt Disney World property. Casey and I actually just stayed here a couple, couple weeks ago and I'm so excited to be back here for four nights of absolute fun and probably zero sleep here on this vacation. I did want to say thank you to Disney for hosting us and inviting us out for this amazing opportunity. If you guys could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button if you guys are new. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. But like I said, we are here, we're checking on in. Our room is already ready. Got the text, I think at like 10 a.m. Our room was ready, so I wanna go to the front desk, I have a package to pick up, and then I wanna head on over to our room. I wanna see if it's a Savannah room. I'm very pumped. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because this is absolutely going to be such a fun weekend. Also, if you can't tell, it is uh, a bit chilly here at Walt Disney World. It's 65 degrees. I was hoping for a, a little warm, uh, warmer of a day because I do want to chill at the pool, have a couple drinks because tonight we actually have dinner at Jico, which is going to be amazing. We actually pre-selected our entrees. Disney had, um, Disney had asked what I wanted and I already gave him my order. It's going to be, this. there's going to be a lot of things this weekend that we don't normally see here at Walt Disney World. It's going to be fun. So without further ado, let's, let's head on in the lobby. If you can see, I'm a, uh, wearing my new Mickey shirt that I pur purchased and let's kick off this Run Disney weekend. This is my very first Run Disney weekend. And I don't think I said this, this is my first time getting hosted here at Walt Disney World at a hotel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here each and every single day. Let's go have some fun. I actually decided to walk up this way because this is actually where the bus stop is, see? Oh, they call it the shuttle bus station. All the way down there. I'm usually walk in from the Port of Kashir, but figured, Let's change it up a little bit. I mean, it does say guest check-in right ahead. And since I'm here for five days, I had to pack a lot of clothes. So if you guys are new on the channel, I usually try to pack everything in a backpack, but that was not, that was not possible. Even though I've done it before going to Disneyland. Now I actually could bring a plus one. However, my plus one will be joining us around two o'clock. Can any of you guys guess who I brought along with me? here for our four at night five day stay i think i already said actually but um if you haven't oh my gosh it smells so good you'll see him pretty soon all right let's head to the front desk it actually appears they're pretty busy right now i did online check in best way to do it but i have to pick up some special information at the desk which is right over here to the left you know, I actually wonder when they're going to put up the Christmas tree. I wonder if they're going to have the Christmas tree up while we're here. That would be super nice. Cause I do know I want to stay at Animal Kingdom or Wilderness Lodge. Actually, go ahead, comment down below. Where should I stay this Christmas? Because I want to have a Christmas vacation with a tree. It's either here or at Wilderness Lodge. Okie dokie. Anna Choki. Let's check on in. Today is obviously November 1st, but it looks like on Halloween they had candy at the at the front desk. They only had one station of it and it's currently getting flooded with a lot of kids, but they had candy here at their uh, their check-in desk. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that at Disney World. And if you guys are really unfamiliar with Walt Disney World or Animal Kingdom Lodge in itself, they still have the old check-in desks, meaning they only have like one door. If you go to any other Disney resort, they usually kind of have like a little breezeway where the concierge member can kind of just walk on back, but looks like they kind of still have the old theming here still. Probably get refurbished soon. I think I said that in the last video. I was here. Oh, there's the candy right there. See it? See it? See it? See it? Right there, right there, right there. Boom. That's simple. I got actually a little envelope. I'll, I'll crack this open. I think it's um a gift card and I think tickets. We'll see. We'll see. But let's go do the best thing about checking on in, finding our room. I got the room number. I think it's in the zebra section, which is all the way to the back right over here. All right. So I just checked on in, but this is what happens all the time. It's the best feeling ever. I just ran on into one of you guys. Mary is here. Thanks for watching, Mary. We are so happy to meet you and you bring so much joy to so many cancer patients who can't get out of bed 
want a little joy in their life. So thank you so much, guys. No, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys want to be on the video too? You good? You want to say hi? We'll just wait. We'll wait. <laughs> awesome. One big happy family. It's great. It's awesome. I can't tell you guys how awesome it is to run into every single one of you guys, but I totally forgot, since I never bring this, that I can put my backpack on here. It makes it so much easier, actually, to carry, but I think I have to go over here to the right. This direction. Also, a quick look at the lodge before, potentially, maybe we see a Christmas tree set up in the lobby, but I feel like it happens in December. I don't really know when they put up the tree. All right, y'all, let's go find our room. I believe we're down here. We're either gonna have a safari view or a pool view. That's in the direction where we're going. Actually, I don't think we're down this way. It's really hard to find your room here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think I'm in the wrong section. Wait a second, no, we are this way, but I actually have to take an elevator down. We get to go on this floor. Oh, I've never done this before. Hold on, let's go this way. Wait, this is gonna be so cool. I've always wanted a room here. This is where we're gonna be walking, I believe. Let's, let's, let's find it. Also, I've always wanted to have drinks there. We're gonna have drink here today because it's kind of a overcast day and we'll probably start here. Maybe we'll get enough courage to go in the pool. We'll see. Bum, ba -dee -dee, bum, bum, bum. Let's go find our room. Bing, boom, boom. Oh, perfect. Floor two. Nice. Let's go. Nice elevators too, by the way. Super big and themed. And there's a mirror. All right. This way we go. There's Boma. Gosh, smells incredible. Still breakfast too, by the way. We're, pretty, we're here pretty early. Onward with the show. Pretty sure we're all the way down as well. I think we're gonna have a Savannah view. I think that's what we're gonna have. But that's just me guessing. I only wanted to look at the room number and not what the room number was called. I'm sorry, the room was called. It would, it would tell us. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be so close to the animals. If we do have a Savannah view. I could have a pool view. Okay, y'all, I found the room. Let's go inside and check it out. Here we go. Let's head on in. Not working. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, oh, confirmed. We got a safari view. Gosh, this resort is just so cool. Like, I just feel that it's surrounded by an actual safari, which it actually is. It just feels so big. I can see giraffes. Real quick, let's just do an overview of the room, a little room tour here, and um, yeah, so excited. Keep in mind as well, these rooms were recently just refurbished. So we've got two beds in here, a little desk where I'm going to be editing all these awesome videos you guys are gonna see all week and weekend long. Should have about five to six up. Nice little dresser here. It's the same room that actually Casey and I just stayed at. It's very spacious. My guests will be sleeping on that bed, and I will probably take this bed. Oh boy, oh boy. Let me turn this down. It feels a little hot in here for 68. I guess that's as low as it goes. Here's the entryway where we just were gonna have coffee. Gonna need a lot of that. Refrigerator. I believe this is gonna be all the coffee in here. Yep, all the K-cups. Should be Joffrey's coffee. Here's our sliding door closet. Is this a vacuum? Or a steamer? Steamer, it looks like a, like a vacuum in a way. Anyways, storage. More closet space, ooh, sorry. More closet space. And then of course we've got the bathroom in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot. This shower is everything. Oh my goodness. It's just like the one at Coronado Grand Destino Tower. Love when they do that. I know a lot of people might not like it because they want to take a bath, but you know, here we go. We're kicking off our awesome five days of fun here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And oh, they got the Hey Disney. Look at this. Hey Disney. Oh, I think you have to. Hey Disney. Oh, that's how you start it. 
Let me ask Alexa for that. I'm glad you asked. And this Excellent. is all you can do here. That's cool. That's cool. You can actually buy that now. But um, let me show you guys. Oh, I just ran into the bed. A wonderful view. Here we go. Our Savannah Safari view. Huge balcony. One morning, I hope a giraffe is just going to be right here. Because you can actually see them all the way in the distance over there. And I think the pool is in this direction, if I'm not mistaken. And look at that. That's so the animals don't go over there. Oh, they can't actually come here. Look at the barrier. That's as far as they can come. Come over here, please. It's a chilly day out. It really is. But as uh, Mickey says, nothing can stop us now. <laughs> can somebody name the last Disney staycation that we had where I actually unpacked? I don't know if I can. Name that, like meaning a lot of clothes. Cause that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm on a, a Disney cruise or just a cruise in general right now. This is exciting. Time to unpack and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Or do I show you guys what I brought? Let me show you guys what I brought real quick. I got a lot, a lot. Ooh, that's a, that is a little, a little spoiler for videos to come. I can't show that. Definitely the most clothes I've brought on a Disney hotel stay in probably since I've moved down here. Regardless, welcome to Animal Kingdom Lodge, everybody. Comment down below if you guys have ever stayed here or you plan on staying here because I feel like a lot of people love this resort, like a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, do you guys wanna see something even more funny than um, packing all the clothes that I did? Cause it's unusual for, for me. I even brought a second pair of shoes. Who is this, Kyle? Okay, we're gonna head out. I uh, wanna see how many people are by the pool. And I also wanna see where these stairs go. Aha! It is right by the pool. And it's very empty today. Because I know this, trust me, I know, this doesn't compare to anything where you guys are from. It is currently 68 degrees out. 68 degrees. It would be nice to go in the hot tub, wouldn't it? Not gonna lie, that room that we have with a savanna and a pool access area, super clutch because not only is it that, we have a bar and then we have the food right on over there. But uh, yeah. The pool is a ghost town. And go figure, I'm not gonna film it, but the, the hot tubs are a party zone right now. Hey guys. Hi. Even the flamingos are trying to stay, stay warm, even though I think that's how they sleep. As far as the pool goes, the lifeguards have a very easy day. There's a whopping six people in the pool. But what a day to have the pool to yourself, am I right? Am I right? The lifeguards are bundled up though. I tell people all the time, if you can't stay here, it's worth a visit. It really is just for an hour of your time if you decide to uh, resort hop. Hold on, I'm gonna go in here. Let me see if it's heated here. It's actually pretty warm. Just wouldn't want to get out after. This resort really is one of a kind, at least here at Walt Disney World. It's something else. <laughs> I just checked this out. Look at this, I just found this. That is some Disney magic right there and there's actually some on this side too. I wonder if they do this every day. Look at that. I'm assuming they do that every day. Check this out, the lifeguard actually said that we could go up here with the camera, which is the, the water slide, and it's gonna be a good view. Actually, this is one of the coolest views. Holy caramba. Check it out. Very empty pool. This kinda makes me wanna go in the pool though. 
a one of a kind Walt Disney World Resort. There's the hot tub over there. In today's video, we're actually gonna see three places you can eat here at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. We're gonna go to the quick service and then a little bit later, we're gonna go to Victoria Falls, which is that lounge I showed you guys earlier. I've never been there. And then of course, Chico, their signature restaurant here, which is so good. I can't wait to, can't wait to see a, a private chef or like we have a private room. I'm really excited. It's gonna be cool. Already a one of a kind event thing that I've never experienced before. We're gonna head inside the Mara, which is kind of typical Disney food in a way. It's just quick service. Here's a look at their breakfast and a lunch and dinner. We'll probably be here in tomorrow's vlog for some uh, some breakfast. There's an early look at it, but I want to get, I think, the vegetable bowl. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna get this brownie to go. Look at that. Zebra domes. I think I'm gonna try that a different day. I think one dessert is good for for this meal, right? We're dining inside here, at least just to pick it up. Um, this is cool. This is what they give you to to know it's what you ordered. This vegetable bowl is huge. Look at this sucker. This is bigger than a Qdoba bowl. Like it kind of weighs the same, but this is pretty much like a Qdoba bowl in a way. I gotta turn my hat around for this one. Like, wow. Holy cow, I feel like I'm at Qdoba. It's not gonna taste the same, but sure looks and feels the same. It's different. Like I wanted to go for a different, you know, I wanted to be one with the theming here. Like they had burgers there, but this kind of felt like it's belonged belonged at the resort my dad definitely probably want to eat this it's, it's different it's gonna it's gonna fill me up and it's actually pretty good like hits the spot kind of tastes like chili in a way winner winner chicken dinner i'm trying to just get like different things that i normally get you know because you can get a pulled pork pork pulled pork pulled pork sandwich pretty much anywhere in a burger i don't know how to explain this but if you're an adventurous eater this is just a bowl of tons of flavors and i feel like you don't get this Pretty much at Disney World, it's just very flavorful. Any like scoop you get, it's gonna be different. But I like it, I'm pretty much eating all of it. All right, now what I'm most excited for is this bad boy. Probably only gonna have one bite and save it for, uh, you know, a little bit later for a whole stay, but isn't that cute? That's a nice photo op. I think I'm gonna eat off one of uh, Mickey's ears here. I don't know if you guys can hear too. They uh, turned the, the music on at the pool. Now it seems like a party. Peanut butter galore mixed with brownie and a very creamy brownie at that, or sorry, like a chewy brownie. This is naughty. Oh my God. I'm gonna have another year. This is unbelievable. It's very heavy on peanut butter though, versus brownie. So if you don't like peanut butter, don't get this, but <laughs> this is right up my alley. Good thing we're at a fit fitcation. I'm going on a 5K soon. I'm eating a brownie. You know, since it was, it's a cold day out, I, I wanted to come in the arcade. Just to show you guys, I don't think I've ever shown the arcade, but nobody is, nobody's in here. It's just me and a, a cast member, that's about it. It's a very decent sized arcade as well. And I can't wait to have more of this. I'm telling you guys, get this brownie. The Nala brownie, it is so good. Just gonna go up to the room here real quick to put this bad boy away. This might be the, the closest we'll ever see the drafts. We came up at the perfect time. I think they just fed them in there. Wow, it's so chilly out, it really is. Oh! <gasps> Hey, buddy. No, oh, he's wandering away. Did you guys know that giraffes sleep like five to 10 minutes per day? In, wait, sorry, it t five to 10 minute bursts, but they sleep anywhere from I think 20 minutes up to four hours a day. The rest is spent eating. I will say this, best believe me, because if you get a Savannah room, you are not gonna wanna leave your room. You're kinda just wanna gonna 
Look at the animals. That is a few you like animals. I feel like all of us like animals, right? Like drafts. Who doesn't like looking at drafts? And I believe it is a significant price bump as well. So if you don't <laughs> mind leaving your room and paying the bump increase of having Savannah room, it's definitely worth it. I know it's uh, one of Casey's favorites as it is mine, especially when they have blue skies. So hopefully in the next couple days, we're gonna have some beautiful skies instead of overcast. It's very rare for Disney for it just to be overcast. We have a cold front obviously in right now. Our special guest is here and he's arriving. So we're gonna go meet him in the lobby. I stripped and what a lobby this is wow here's actually a really good view on where we just were the pool the room's way over there too kind of walked pretty far it's the main lobby boma Jico's down here actually Jico's right here yeah Jico's right here boma right there I feel like every time I come here there's one thing I need to do every time I stay here I need to walk across this bridge. It's in the main lobby. And boy, it's got a, a very nice view. Also, I believe the tree is gonna be put up like the second or third week of November, so I don't think we're gonna see it. But we can see that club lounge right there. Boy, I wish I was up there. I did say the next time I I come here, I will be staying there, but hey, next next time I'll, I'll stay there. Kevin? Kevin? Hey, <laughs> I didn't expect you to be here already. <laughs> no, I just, I just looked down, I'm like, oh, there you are. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> I didn't know he was here already. That's so funny. I was just looking down, I'm like, oh, that guy looks like Kevin. And it's Kevin. Kevin! There he is, the man of the hour. Well, dude, I did not expect that, that's so. All right, guys, Kevin is in the house. If you guys have no idea who Kevin is, you must be new on the channel, but who are you, Kevin? I am Kyle's girlfriend's uh, brother-in-law. Yep. Yep, Casey's brother-in-law. Casey's brother-in-law, and he's he just told me he's never been to Jamba House. Yeah, never been. I've been to the main building where they have, because uh, I've been to Sanaa before, but I've never been over in this building. It's, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Well, welcome. Wait to see our room. I haven't told him anything. Nothing, so he knows nothing. I know nothing. But he's going here. Going in blind. Going in blind on our four night, five day adventure. It's gonna be wild. Yeah. And he wore his Alani shirt. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you know it uh, kind of fits the vibe, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Not See the room for the first time. Oh, nice view. All right, so at the end of the video, I'll kind of share my thoughts on how I like the resort, how it is. Because spoiler, alert, it's kind of nice already. But it's, uh, I'll let you all know at the end how I, what I think. Still can't believe it's his first time. It's kind of nuts. But we're gonna go get a drink here real quick and kind of just vent around since it's his first time. Pool bar, first stop. Uzima Springs Pool Bar. It's actually getting warmer out too. Do you want to go in the pool? <laughs> Not tonight, huh? <laughs> Not tonight. Here's the specialty cocktails. I think we're both going to get the Flamingo Mules and go say hello to the Flamingos. A Flamingo Mule by the Flamingos. This is for you, Mr. Flamingo. Cheers, Flamingos. Cheers, flamingos. Good to see you guys again. One of the things that I read about Flamingos is that they sleep, like only half their brain sleeps at a time. That's why they're able to sleep with the one leg up like that. And they tuck their head in there. Yeah. I am a flamingo. Woo! Can you do that? Oh yeah. Can you do this? We're going to we're going to do yoga, so I... Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Shh. That's a secret. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I really liked mine. I'm pacing myself. I am too, it was just, I was really thirsty. Really thirsty. Very good though. Flamingo meal. Flamingo meal, get the flamingo meal. And speaking of drinks, here's Victoria Falls, which I've never been to this bar before. 
Now I don't think, I did say we were gonna have three places with food. This technically, I believe you can order, but it begins at five. And our dinner is at seven, so I don't know if we're gonna order anything to eat, but we will get a tasty cocktail here. And I've always wanted to come here, but never really, never really worked out. So we'll be in this lounge in about an hour. It opens up, it's almost three. Yeah, here's the menu. The lounge fair doesn't begin until five. But here's a look at the, the specialty cocktails and we both are freaking out over this cold brew old fashioned. Because we might need some coffee tonight too. That's kind of a nice mixture. show up to dinner like this. Hey Disney, thanks for inviting us. Thank you. Hi. Howdy. Howdy, how do you do? What's your name? Not my name? Yeah. Kevin. Kevin! I thought it's Indiana Jones. Oh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> my name is, my name is Sheriff Woody. <laughs> Since we've got an hour to kill, we're actually walking to Kidani. We've got shuffleboard over here, Kadani. Basketball court over here. And then there's a uh, two tennis courts, actually. Kadani. A nice, like, five minute walk. A Disney resort and spa. As you can see, Kadani's lobby is so much smaller and way more intimate than over at Jumbo House. By the way, this is DVC on this side. I spy Taylor Swift's boyfriend. In reverence to where we are, we all right, here, we're gonna have to do a whole nother walk to go to the lounge, because it's four o'clock, believe it or not. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Fun go. fact about let's go. <laughs> the story about let's go. I don't think we've ever told this before, yeah. but Kevin, I'll let you tell this story. I hate when people say let's go for pretty much anything. Whenever they're excited, they go, let's go. I let's go. It. I hate it. And first couple of times hanging out with Kyle, all he would say, it drove me insane. <laughs> did it really? No, it didn't. It was fine. <laughs> I thought it was but funny. But now I started like jokingly saying, let's go. Let's go. It's a sports thing. It's, yeah. it's a sport and it's like a channel thing. And Casey told me, I think after like the third time of meeting you, she, and she, she goes, you know, Kevin, Kevin likes you, but there's one thing he doesn't like. I was like, what? He doesn't like when you say, let's go. I was like, really? <laughs> it's my one thing, yeah. I was like, I say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, you do. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, that's the story about let's go. But he likes it now, right? Oh, no, I just put up with it. There, okay. <laughs> Same thing. This is very rare at Disney World, but Kidani sits at the very, very edge of Disney World, and I didn't know that apartments can actually see inside Kidani. That feels like a Disneyland thing. Didn't know it was here at Disney World. Do you think those rooms looking inside Kidani actually have to pay more in rent? My gut says yes. So if you live there, let us know down below. I think no. No? Because it's really just a view of a parking lot of Kidani. Oh, the tennis courts too. Oh, the tennis courts. Yeah, that is, it's a, nice that view. is a premium view. It's a prime view. Well, and you can see the building too. Yeah. Believe it or not, guys, we timed this perfectly. It is four o'clock. People are already beating us. They were rope dropping it. Look at them. Here we go. That was a really good, uh, I wouldn't say waste time, but a good use of our time. Look at their lamps here. It's super cool. They're little rhinos. So we decided to get two different drinks. Kevin got the cold brew old fashioned and then I got the baobab tree drink. The baobab 75, but it's like, you know, it's like a baobab tree. All right, here is Kevin's looks phenomenal. Got coffee in there, old fashioned. And then I basically got a cocktail champagne in a way. Cheers to our first day. Cheers. Let's go. Slay. This tastes just like a cruise drink. It's gin and champagne. This is great. How's yours? That's amazing. It has like a lot of chocolate in it. Um, or it tastes very chocolatey. Um, rum, I think. It's very good. Highly recommend if you're at, what's this place called? Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls. 
Get this drink, it's very good. The fun thing about Kevin is he's a little bartender himself. He loves to make up his own concoctions. Mm -hmm. He's got a bar at his apartment, it's nice. So we have drinks from time to time at his place at night. Little bartender over here. Try. We are all done here. We're here for about like a good, what, hour? It's five o'clock. Kevin and I, we just straight bonded here. Yeah. Talked about life. Talked about uh, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it was a good time. And Alani. And Alani. We should go sometime. Maybe like next year or something. Next year, I feel like it's going to be a big travel year. 2024. Fine. I'll go to Alani. <laughs> and we're back. I'm steaming Kyle. Sh you don't want him showing up with wrinkles. Yeah, we got to look good tonight. We gotta look good. Just wanted to say we finally have blue skies out here. And it feels kind of like a Midwest fall right now. Everything you dream of when you live here in Florida. It's beautiful. And here comes the giraffe again. We're about to head out here to dinner very soon with our private section. I think like a private chef. We'll figure it out. It's very beautiful out. I feel really uh, blessed to be here. Just two Midwestern boys enjoying some 60 degree weather out here. Gosh, I miss it so much. It's beautiful. We're headed to dinner. Now, as I've been saying, I think like four times in this vlog, I think we have a private room uh, with Jika, which is gonna be really nice. And there's, I think other creators there as well. I don't know how much we're gonna film, but uh, we do have dinner at Jiko, which is a signature dining here at Animal Kingdom Lush. It's gonna be great. Looking forward to it, never been to Jiko. It's gonna be nice, my first time being at Jiko in a private room. Let's go. Well, we're here at Jiko, the cooking place, and uh, if you guys know me, I show up early to everything. I'm about 25 minutes early and I'm the the first one here, so I guess we're gonna sit here and, and wait. Hi. Guys, I think that is our private room right there. So here in Jico, they have the bar, and then where Casey and I were last time, we were in the restaurant. I think that's our private room. It looks pretty well set up. All right, we're in our fancy private room here. We're gonna talk about some Run Disney things and probably have, well, we're gonna talk about some Run Disney things and have a really good, Dinner. Here's a look at the room here, real quick. It's very lovely. And we'll see what the night brings us. If you guys are looking here, it's kind of funny because we got silverware and then we have a we have a pen, and that's to sign the contract or whatever it is underneath. I have no idea what it is, but um, I'm sure it has something to do with Run Disney. But here's a look at our menu that we have. It's not really the full menu of Chico, but uh, it is gonna be good. All right. Got some wine. Cheers. Cheers. Some amazing bread has arrived on a really nice plate as well. <laughs> Looks like a charcuterie plate. I can already tell this is this is some bread I've never tried before. <laughs> it's called draft bread, by the way. All right, our appetizer has arrived. Kevin's gonna take it over and tell you guys what it is. All right, so this is a wild boar tenderloin. It looks great. It smells even better. It has like a some someone called a creamy pop, chocolate tomatoes, and herb smoked oil. Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? I like that word. I like that word. Chocolate. All I gotta say is boom chocolate. This is good. You see what I did there? You guys see what I did there? And we've got some lovely salad here. My goodness. I think we're having a seven course meal here tonight. This is incredible. Interesting addition of quinoa. He just told us a story about, like a history lesson, on quinoa being introduced to Africa. About how quinoa was introduced to Africa. Um, it's not native to Africa, but because warring factions were dependent on each other for food, they brought quinoa in, and so they're incorporated into this dish because it's become it's grown in popularity since the 90s. So it's really cool that they added that into this dish, and it's very tasty, great addition to it. Our next course has arrived, and it's duck flatbread, y'all. This is unreal. Unbelievable. I can't wait to show you guys more of this as these days continue. I just heard there's going to be way more surprises. So, yeah. Here's their duck flatbread. It's so light. 
unbelievable. Next course, we've got some sort of sorbet here to cleanse the palate for the next course. Of course, we needed to do that. Well, it's very light. It's very airy. It's uh, yeah. It's almost like you eat it and then you don't like don't taste it anymore. It's so good. Imagine a very light tasting Dole Whip. That's exactly what it tastes like. And our entree, we have the chicken. Look at the display. Look at the display. Yeah, you really Guys, I don't know the last time I saved rice for my last bite, but let yeah, me tell you, this rice is the best rice yeah. I think I've ever had in my life. What an incredible dinner, and we actually got goodie bags to go. So I think we're gonna go open this? Yeah. Dessert was good. Oh my gosh. These next vlogs are going to be amazing, and uh, thank you uh, Walt Disney World again for inviting us out. They had obviously a few spots additional for for uh, people that they were inviting for media and we feel really blessed and thankful that they included me and then a plus one. Yeah, it's been awesome being able to be here for this because that was incredible. Uh -huh. The food was insane. Um, the hotel is amazing and so uh -huh. we're having like a great time. And it's what are your thoughts? Be of the, the hotel? hotel? Yeah. The hotel is beautiful. It has like, I've stayed at several Disney hotels across the world and uh, it kind of like, you can kind of see its influence in all the other hotels. It's really beautiful and really nice, and uh, it's really cool that the design language has come all the way across to this one. So it's really cool. I love it. You know what else is cool? The pool. No one's here. Let's go jump in. <laughs> yeah. It's like 60 degrees outside. Yeah. Look, look at this, guys. No one's here. Let's open this. Let's open, open that up. Yeah, you can just open it. Nobody is at the pool. When do you see this at Disney? It's literally like 64 degrees. It feels good for us. Do it. You won't. It's warm. it's heated, right? Yeah. <laughs> you never see this. It's better in there than it is out here. Let's see what we got. Cool bag here. Ooh, Disney 100 hat. Disney 100 Mickey. Disney 100 tumbler. I think that's it. With that, everybody, that is going to be it for your daily dose. What a day. What a day. <sighs> Get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be even more insane. They said there's a lot of surprises along the way. So thanks for all the support. Can't do this without all you guys. And um, yeah. Maybe you go take a nap after that food. I think we're going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> a long nap. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.